What's going on guys, your boy Hans, I'm back at it again today with another video. So in today's video, I wanna make a sad melodic trap beat, something you're able to sing on and rap on at the same time, but I also wanna keep it simple. And the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna leave more room for the artist to add backup vocals or maybe the rapper to put some ad libs. And I feel like sometimes simplicity is key. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys, and let's get into this video. I just dragged in one of my midis right now. I have it on the Bose Endeavor Grand Piano so you're able to hear it. Once I show it to you, that's when I try to find another instrument. So let's just listen to it. It definitely has like that sad, melodic feeling to it. So now I'm gonna go to Omnisphere, trying to find another instrument to work for this, because I don't feel like the piano's doing it justice, to be honest. I might start off with a guitar from Omnisphere and try to add it in here, and I might layer it with another sound, so that way it has like the guitar kind of playing some high notes, and I might maybe add some strings or a pad in there with the same melodies, so that way you have like the ambient background, but you also have something that's kind of like more concrete, if that makes sense. I kind of like this one here. Fix the EQ on it. I think that should be good right there. So what I'm gonna do is create a new software instrument. I'm gonna drag the melody down, and now we're gonna find another instrument in Omnisphere to add in there. Kinda like this here. Oh, so much better without the triangle. We got a vibe here. Big CEQ. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fire beat amongst us right now. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is maybe add the hi-hat. That's like the first thing that comes to mind for me. Go to my favorite hi-hat, hi-hat number two, drag it in here. I'm just gonna add a straight line of eighth notes for now, and I might switch it up later after I add everything else. Let's see how this sounds. Fix the EQ on it. What I'm gonna do is cut it here and just fix the velocity on it to give it a human feeling. And then I'm gonna replicate the track four times. Select everything, J. Just a subtle touch. I'm thinking about maybe adding in a clap this time. I feel like I'm always using snares and I feel like a clap on this one kind of fits it a lot more. So let me add that in there real quick. Try this one here. I want to keep the pattern simple on this one. So I'm just going to put it on the two and the four. That's it. And we're just going to repeat it over. J, Command A, Q to quantize, lower the velocity a bit. Fix the EQ on it. Let's get it right there. I'm gonna add in some rims right now, but I'm gonna put it towards the second clap. So that way when the clap hits, you're gonna have like maybe a line of 16s from the rims. Like maybe right there. I think that's good. And now I'm gonna add in the open hat every time before the two and the four hit. Yeah, just like that. Command A, Q to quantize it. I think the velocity is good on it, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, lower the volume. Something subtle like this. And now that we have that, we're gonna add in the kicks. Try this one here, kick number one. I think I have an idea of what I wanna do for the kicks. Should be good right there. Fix the kicks real quick. See how this kicks sound. That should be good. Oh yeah, 
the kicks were perfect on this one here. And now what I'm gonna do is add in that 808. I'm gonna just copy the kick pattern down. Command A, shift backslash do force legato. I know we're currently in B harmonic minor, so let me just turn on the quantize tool. Everything on B. Command A, shift option up. And then I'm gonna solo out the 808 in the melody so I'm able to hear it better. This one down. I feel like it's too high up. What if I bring these down? Should be good. That should be good right there. Let me add some overdrive on it right now. Move the volume just a bit. All right, let's hear everything together with the 808. EQ on it. Oh, we got a vibe right here, guys. Honestly, guys, I'm going to leave the hi-hats the way they are. I feel like if I change it, it's not really going to enhance it. But what I might do is separate the upper melody from the chords themselves. That way we're able to have more variation on the beat. So let me do that real quick. So this is the chords by themselves. See what happens when we let it drop. Oh yeah. All right, guys, I feel like the B's in a good spot right now. I'm gonna arrange it real quick and I'll be back with the final results. All right, guys, so I came up with the final arrangement. I know it's a pretty simple beat, trust me. I feel like beats like this are necessary because you don't wanna do too much sometimes. You wanna give a lot more room for the artist to do whatever they're going for. And I feel like we definitely accomplished it here, but let's just vibe out to it. Imagine I start singing. Put a riser in here to spice it up. Bring in the kicks. over here bring back the kicks Yeah, this beat got a vibe, guys. It's simple, but it's nice. Bring in the riser again and switch it up. And that's the beat all wrapped up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. This beat came out super fire. I know it's simple, but beats like this are very necessary because they give the artist a lot more room to add their own touch on it, whether it's ad-libs or backup vocals. And I feel like once we arranged it, we started to see those elements a lot more. So definitely a thumbs up for me. But anyway, guys, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Also, leave a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. But definitely check out my description. I have some Tutorial Tuesdays, Freestyle Friday, my favorite plugins, also some free kits. So definitely take a look down there also my social media thank you so much for watching guys and you have a wonderful day